I shook my uh, recliner. You know, the chandelier was swinging. Uh, Facebook in our area, I mean, everybody was chiming off. Everybody. Eric Cazarez lives southeast of San Antonio in Carn City. The earthquake epicenter was nearby in Falls City, where experts say there have been 30 earthquakes this month. If we get a small one and it's just a standalone, and they're weeks apart. We don't really even talk about them anymore. We're kind of used to that. Saturday's 4.7 magnitude earthquake was felt from San Antonio up to Austin and Round Rock. It's not something we would like to see. UT professor Alexandro Savides is the principal earthquake investigator for TexNet. In the United States, California has the most quakes that cause damage. But recently, experts say Texas is beating California in the number of low intensity earthquakes. In South Texas, that's largely due to fracking. In the area of South Texas, we have seen that the, most of the seismicity is due to the oil and gas uh, extraction. This earthquake intensity map shows the range of Saturday's 4.7 magnitude quake. From south of San Antonio up through Austin, the shaking was rated as weak to light. But with seismic activity growing statewide, oil field companies are now taking steps to try to reduce the intensity and frequency of earthquakes. I started TexNet eight years ago. Okay, if you ask me at that time, I, I saw a lot of um, denial at that time from people. But uh, uh, I think now they know. Now they know that they have to do something and they are working on it. And that's really very positive. Even after changes are made, it could take years for seismicity to slow, which is not comforting to those who got shaken up this weekend. That's the longest one I've ever you know, felt in my life. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.